Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show, episode 823. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212. I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Greetings and salutations, one and all. Okay, so basically, here's the situation. I bought Amazing Spider-Man 20. That's not the situation. It was great, by the way. Don't want to spoil it for anybody, but obviously everybody knows Doc Ock is back. Okay? Get the get the comic. It's fantastic. What's up, Ray? All right. Hey, Ray. Hi, so, Tom. I'm, I'm going to put a spoiler thing here. Okay? I have a problem with Marvel that the storyline isn't over yet, Civil War, and they spoiled the shit out of it. That's not going to be over for a couple months to promote another comic. So, why would you spoil that Tony Stark is dead also? Because what? that is why Doctor Doom is Iron Man. Which, uh, listen, all right? Why what? would you do that? Why would you, if that's supposed to be a huge surprise at the last issue of Civil War, which is probably going to happen, what, December or whatever? Yeah, December. Why would you spoil it now? Yeah. Who's got their wires crossed where they just ruin it? So, supposedly, Tony Stark's brain patterns, everything's been uploaded to a computer because supposedly he's dead at the end of the Civil War. Just like the Hulk is dead, just like War Machine's dead, which I tend to believe they will come back somehow, but um, I just have a problem with another book promoting the end of Civil War when Civil War is not even over yet. Okay? This is a Marvel thing. This is not some company that's leaking stuff out. Marvel spoiled their own storyline. Bad form. They did this with Secret Wars. They screwed the whole thing up and, and they had to spoil it in every book because Secret Wars wasn't done, wasn't ready bad form. So, um, y y y if you're not going to be organized, there's going to be a decline mm -hmm. viewership in comics because you're pissing the fans off. I'm pretty pissed. I mean, I bought the books and I'm still reading Civil War and I'm, I'm not happy about it. Like, the book is freaking five hours, okay? Oh, good. That, that is like lunch, all right? If they're going to do a $5 comic book, then it better be a freaking trade paperback of some sort. Let me tell you something. I can go in the city, and I can get a bagel, a donut, and coffee for like two fifty. dollars right? That's breakfast. You could go in the city and get uh, two slices of pizza for $2. It's like, you know, whatever. You could have a whole lunch, right? You have a $5 comic that's not over yet. That you want people to shout out five dollars that people who used to do in the digital age, you know, like yeah, whatever. Mm. Well, I'm I'm an old fashioned guy, so I'll get the comic rather than the digital. But why would you piss me off if I'm getting your book? You know, I'm getting your book and you ruined it because um, Brian Michael Bendis is doing Iron Man and he's got to put his thing out, so like he's got to see he has the right to spoil it. That's stupid. Or, or whoever, I mean, that's, can't you get your crap together and talk to each other as a company and say, listen, maybe we shouldn't release this Iron Man book yet because it's freaking Civil War has got another couple of issues. Yeah. Or whatever. I mean, what is I don't even know what to say the truth. I'm now, if you want to hint, now, I can understand them hinting, like, people going, whatever happened to Tony? Or there's like, or you see somebody that looks like a ghost of Tony. Fine, but like, I, yeah, I agree. They it's flat fun. out. They have Dr. They Doom. Flat out, yeah, they flat out say, well, Dr. Doom, we're not, oh, is it true he's not really dead? No, it was all over the news. He died on the news. They showed it, whatever. You don't know how he died, but he basically said Tony Stark dies, okay? That is ridiculous. Like, you ruined the whole effing thing. You ruined the whole effing thing. So, I have a problem with, look, I understand that people do podcasts or 
YouTube videos or single videos, and they spoil some things sometimes. But yeah. at least, I mean, I would think they would say, hey, spoiler warning, which we just did, right? But this is out already since this morning, okay? It's, it was even on the internet like a week ago, right? Marvel spoiled it themselves. Yeah. It's like, why would you do that? Don't you want people to get the Civil War book? Why? It's called bad marketing. Somebody messed up. Just don't do it again. You did it already with Civil War. Stop it already. You know? I mean, I have a problem. Look, I'm glad Doc Ock's back, right? But not in this capacity. But I would have liked to have been surprised that they showed the cover of this like four months ago. You know? It would have been nice to like have something where all it, because they basically say, all right, Doc Ock's back this issue, Carry On's back this issue, Scarlet Spider's back this issue. Well, thanks. What am I reading about that? This is something I could have missed and still I mean, around. All right. But you don't do anything constructive with them. So the thing is, like, I'm glad the Doc Ock's back. I've been waiting for that. I even said, joking around, oh, he'll just get a clone body from the Jackal, like, years ago. Which, how else would he get come back, right? If his body is decrepit and bones and dead and whatever. But, like, Jesus. Like, can we keep some massive secret somehow? Like, I mean, as it is, the sales are, are declining the way they used to be. Don't tell me they're not. Don't tell me we're okay. You're not okay. This is, this is what the same problem we were having with DC, weren't it? They started doing things like this, and that's why they had to do this rebirth bloody series to try and get back where they were. And why do we have... The one thing I, I'm kind of curious about is that every single Spider-Man storyline that I know, know of, that I've collected for, like, decades, Right? They didn't have a separate comic. No. An amazing called Clone Conspiracy. Like, this is the first time that I recall them having something like this. And how could that be the main thing and not Amazing Spider-Man be the main thing? That's weird. Like, they've never done that. Spider-Verse was in the damn comic. The Superior Spider-Man was in the damn comic. All this stuff was in the comic. Why would you have to get a separate... But that's basically their rebirth. Yeah. But only Spider-Man yeah. stuff type of thing. Mm. They're rebirthing the, all the villains as clones or whatever. You know, all the ones that are dead. You know? Like rebirth for, for Spider-Man villains, basically. But I mean, that, I just don't like that. I, I would rather them make Amazing Spider-Man bi-weekly and then have double the story that way. I, yeah. I don't... I mean... I, I, you know, I it, and then yeah, then I can see something costing maybe five bucks if they're going to do a a biweekly thing. But if it's every week to where it's five bucks here, five bucks there, no. I mean, it kind of confused the crap out of you with that. You know, that is confusing. I know he admitted that, but I would not do that anymore. I would have it in the comic. And again, the story is great. I mean, it's above average. So I'm not bashing the comic because it is a great story that I've been reading with Dan Slott. It is amazing. But you would have a storyline like that in the comic only. And not like, you didn't see, I mean, you know, that's like, that's like a caliber of Secret Wars. That Secret Wars got his own comic. So now Spider-Man's going to have separate comics that's going to be a storyline like that. That's kind of weird. You know? I don't know. I just, I don't agree with that, but I have no choice, so I'm just going to get it and read it and enjoy it. Uh, I went to Toys R Us the other day, and I don't know if you saw my video, but I had a problem, I had a problem with that, because they promoted Brother Voodoo as Doctor Strange. Oh, God, no. And they didn't even say his name on the packaging until the back of the packaging, okay? Mm. How do you, like, mislead your fan base that they don't read the comic? And how would they not, like, they get confused the crap out of them? So people would think that Doctor Strange is Brother Voodoo, which, no, he's not yeah. Doctor Strange because the character's name is Stephen Strange. But yeah. Doctor Strange is the Sorcerer Supreme. Now, if you would have said 
Sorcerer Supreme, that would be a different story. But this guy is not Doctor Strange. Don't put, don't put that on the package. Also, yeah. no, don't. what confused me was Spider-Girl. They showed a black Spider-Girl. So I'm like, well, wait a minute. What? A, a black outfit or an actual? No, she's actually African-American. Okay. okay. But I'm like, well, wait a minute. Spider Girl was his actual daughter from the future, right? Whatever. From Mary Jean, the first kid, the first kid, right? Mm. She's not African American. Are they doing this because Mary Jean is African American and Spider Man Homecoming? So that's they're trying to make what they're doing. That, well, that confuses the crap out of me, first of all. That's two. Three, you have a woman called, like, Hawkeye. Do I, do I, Am I the only one that has a problem with this? I have a problem when Marvel calls multiple characters. I'm wondering, this is when I started wondering about when this first started happening. If they were doing this because, I hate right, 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 political, but I wonder if they're doing it because of you-know-who trying to become president. Who? Oh, no, no, no. This, was going, this crap was going on long before anybody's going to think. Okay. Okay. No. That's good. Thing going on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That has nothing to do with anything. But I, I just think that it's not right to call multiple people Spider Man. Yes. Multiple people Hulk. Mm. Multiple people Fours. Yes. Like, stop. Stop trying to confuse the crap out of people. Okay, this should not be two Hawkeyes, one male, one female. That's not cool. I'm, I don't and agree. No, and, this, uh, and this one, the she from She Hulk, is also asinine. And and a Chinese Hulk, or whatever. <laughs> but he's called. So so when you you're gonna call his name, you're gonna be like, hey, totally awesome Hulk. Like that takes too long to say all the time. You can't just say Hulk. You're gonna say totally awesome Hulk. That's stupid. Yeah. And then when you say Hulk, a woman turns around. That's it's like, like what? Come on. Like, uh, it's like it's like I'm like the kids. They they tell you so I'm I'm not even really watching the movie. They're gonna be like Clint. Then they go and get the toy, and then they'll be like, oh, "Where's Clint? Which one's Clint?" It's a joke. Explain it to me, Levin. What right? I said it's a joke. I know I didn't get it. Say it again. What well, the first part? I didn't hear you. What did you say? I said, um, it's like when, uh, like, not the kids when they watch the movies. Yeah. And, uh, and um, they're so used to calling um, the character by the first name and them. Right. Like, all kind of Clint. They go to get a toy and they're like, which one's Clint? Right, and exactly. Exactly. Which one? And you shouldn't have to be that question. Like, I, I, I was reading something today and I was not aware, right? Somebody, now get this, Galactus no longer eats and destroys planets. Wow. Huh. Galactus restores dead planets. He's the life bringer. He's the opposite oh, of what God, he wants. No. That wasn't his purpose. That is the most stupidest thing. Do you know that the white Nick Fury is like the effing watcher on the moon? What the hell is that about? When did this happen? This has been happening. What else is Marvel playing now? This has been happening. and I thank God I haven't been reading some of the stuff, but this is like ridiculous. It seems like Marvel just hit a self-destruct button. I don't know yeah. what the hell's happening. And, 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 and listen, we're not stupid. We know that the Wolverine movie comes out next year, and we yeah. know that it's like 99.9% .9 that you're going to bring Logan, Wolverine, back from the dead while yeah. the movie starts, even though it's a different comp even though it's a different movie company, you're going to try to make money off of that. And you're going to bring Wolverine back when the movie comes out, which is so effing predictable. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen right the minute I heard the third one coming out. They did that with Spider-Man for crying out loud. So. 
All right, I don't want to be negative because I think that's what this is becoming, and I don't want to piss anybody off. And I'm a fan like everybody else. I mean, I'm the idiot that's spending all this money for the comics anyway. So what the hell should I complain about, really, right? So, though I'm not really proud of Gwen Pool. I think that's ridiculous. But anyway, um, I do love Gwen Stacy as a character, man. I always was, she was always a favorite of mine. So seeing this whole twist on that is really interesting to me. So, although, um, I don't, I just, that, that I'm, I'm going to talk about. I really don't understand why they keep going by the notion that Spider-Man killed Gwen when the Green Goblin admitted in the damn comic that he's the reason that she's dead. So, like, I I don't understand. Does people not, like, read the comics continually? Like, like... I don't think so. Because also, wouldn't his spider sense like work especially with the woman he loves even though he had a cold by the way if i if i'm able to save every single person for like a hundred issues with my web line why yeah. would this time be different than any other time why yeah. would this time be the thing that my spider sense cannot warn me that i'm going to shoot the web line out wrong that's going to snap her neck like it's a cognitive sense it protects him from getting his head blown up or yeah. getting hurt and it extends to whoever he cares about. And so of, all like, the, yeah. of, all the, of all the times, why would it fail at that specific time? It wouldn't. Right. right. And they even explained, like, Kane was a clone of Spider-Man. His spider sense became more powerful where he saw visions of the future, right? And he had to protect Mary Jane. Like, Mary Jane could not die, you know? So that means that to him, Mary Jane would be important and Gwen Stacy would be important. And the spider sense, if he's going to save them, will direct him how to leap or swing or web. And it would never happen. Yeah, definitely. If a spider could constantly shoot a web, right, and constantly reach its destination with the exception of, like, unforeseen things, right? Yeah. Like, why would this be different with Spider-Man that he uses his spider sense. So how could he be the cause of her death when the spider sense doesn't work that way? There was no way that it should happen. And this is the argument that nobody really brings up, nobody really talks about it, right? There's no way that that spider sense could fail Gwen Stacy. No way. It's the same danger sense that protects him from getting killed for 50 some odd years or whatever. Okay? It's the same thing where he's protected, you know? The only reason it wouldn't work is if that he didn't have the energy to move. Like he was just, I mean, or whatever. But it wouldn't be, I still don't think that he would be the cause for a dog. You know? So. You have to also think, too, the Green Goblin had superhuman strength. Yeah, definitely. He flung her like a rag doll. Her, her neck should have snapped the moment he thrown her because of the sheer force of it. And that's what he admitted in the comic like years ago. That he didn't even realize his strength. He didn't want to kill her, but oh well. I mean, that's he's a villain with after all. You know, so that's uh, basically, you know, my take on the Spider-Man thing. I'm very heavily into the fact that Spider-Man did not kill her with the web line. Absolutely. There's no way it can be. If he's really trying to tell me that the computers and everything, that's full crap to him. Because, again, you're going to explain to me how issues before and 100 issues you could shoot a web line and save somebody, but this one instance is different. So, that, it would never, you can never convince me ever of that. I don't even care if Peter Parker admitted it himself. I wouldn't believe it. So, so that's, that's, a, that's a kind of big pet peeve of mine. 
when everybody brings up that whole, oh, Spider-Man killed Gwen Stacy, or maybe he did. No, he didn't at all, actually. At all. So. I know this is different than other everything shows. I'm kind of on a rant, but how are you, Ray? <laughs> I'm all right. Unless Scott's too busy really looking at something interesting. <laughs> no, I'm just looking up and down here. This is a smart rant. But the comics don't break up, by the way. Mm. It's just, you yeah. know. All this was sponsored by, as Billy would say, Scott's beard. <laughs> <laughs> now, if if Dan Slott could bring back the Human Fly or something, even if you oh, yes. fly, yes. Because, oh, uh, w- you know, I've been dying for that fan favorite to come back in some capacity, whether it be redesigned or whatever. That would be pretty cool. You can call him the Fly or the Human Fly, or whatever. That don't would say, be awesome. don't say that because they might bring him back. Oh, want, real- no, no, listen. I want. That's why I'm bringing it up. I want him to come back. Yeah, because because that was basically based on a genuine guy who was a, a who stood on the top of airliners. He appeared in he came on uh, Tom Snyder's tonight uh, tomorrow show. He was I think he came on Carson on occasion as well, but I know he was in what's that? The, the Human Fly. I'm talking about Spider Man's villain. Oh, okay. Oh, my bad. No, no, no. He's talking about the guy who was based No, no, no. no. Spider Man had a villain called. And sometimes I call them the fly, whatever. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about. No, the- no, no, no. And um, even the man wolf, who was J. Jonah Jameson's son, they had that moon into a were- a moon werewolf or whatever. Yeah, that's that was cool too because I remember having my record player and they had the, the story on the record playing. That was you know that was cool. Man wolf. I one, somewhere I got one or two issues of that uh, werewolf by night. Well, that's, that's different Werewolf right now. Oh, okay. Man Wolf and Werewolf are two totally different characters, yeah. Yeah, because when I, when I think of uh, J. Joan Jameson's, uh, that is, is more of a Werewolf by Night is what I always thought of. No, it's easy. I, I could have sworn that was Jonah's uh, son. Not uh, Werewolf by Night, no. Man okay. Wolf was J. Joan Jameson's son. Yeah, he's different. He's a white wolf. Okay. You know, like an alien wolf, whatever, right? The other one is different. So, which now they got Vampire by Night. I mean, like, why are you copying off your own stuff? That's crazy. But, anywho, um, I think, should we go into other stories? Talk sure. about something else. All right, I'll, I'll talk about something. So, what do you guys think that there's another Shrek movie coming out? It's a sequel, not a reboot. And it's written by the guy that wrote like the Austin Powers movies. That uh, looks somewhat interesting. Okay. I think it's great. But I hope it leads to an Austin Powers movie because Mike yeah. Myers needs to do an Austin Powers movie. Or two. It's been a while. Everybody's coming back. Why can't he come back as Austin Powers? Like I don't Yeah, because there was talk about him doing another Austin Powers the last time I heard. And there's talk about him also doing another, um, what's the name one? Um, Wayne's World. Well, that, I don't know. I mean, we had, what, how many did we have, two? Yeah. yeah. I heard there was a free, heard one like a few years ago, but that was not in. Mean, I don't have two, I don't remember. There was a three? I don't think there was a three. No, no, they were told that they were going to do a Yeah. I, don't. I mean, you could do a trilogy box, that would be nice, I guess, but. Um, I'm more interested in Austin Powers for. Mm. You know, but why can't he like, like, why can't he like create a villain that's? I mean, does he have to play the villain too? Why can't yeah. he have to play the villain? You know, we can have somebody else play the villain than Mike Myers. I mean, that's me. <laughs> you know, they could really I uh, kind of. You know, capitalize with no Bond movie out. They can do another Orson Powers. Oh hell yeah! You can even have Daniel Craig appear in a cameo or something. That'd be cool. There you go. Have uh, instead of Daniel Daniel Craig be the villain in the next Austin Powers movie. Imagine that. You imagine that stuff. That'd be the funniest thing. And Austin was looking at him like, "Did I see you in a movie?" 
What was his name? Bert Solfeld. If the if the people that do bar allowed that, that would be sick. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be, awesome. That would be funny as hell. Or if Mike Myers appeared in a bomb film and said, "Oh, uh, he can he can upstage the rest of powers and get all the chicks." Mm. Imagine that. That would be crazy. King in style. <laughs> Listen, I, I I'm I I like James Bond from back in the day when I was a kid. So some of these things yeah. lingo that I use, yeah, uh, outdated. You know. And that was the whole fun thing about it was it was dated. Yeah. Well, you know, we have all the news. Uh, tomorrow we're getting Wolverine trailer. Yeah, we got a teaser trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy. That was, oh, yeah. I love that. I love it. Yeah. That was great. Oh, My son sent me that, Joe. That was really good. So, all right, people. So, basically, you know I've been gone for two days. Uh, stuff like that may happen, unfortunately, more often because... I was sick in that sense, but um, I'm actually doing my book, actually with the publisher. So there may be times that I may not be on YouTube. And it's only because I want to meet my release date, perfect wish. So that may happen, but I'm still doing YouTube videos, maybe not as much, whatever. It's, it's going to happen until I get this book out. So we'll see. But hopefully... I could still pop out so many that you don't even tell the difference. So there you go. And the Walking Dead will definitely do our podcast on Sunday, uh, the Walking Cast. I know we've been waiting for freaking months, six, seven months for that. So yes. at least I'm at least I'm the talking um, dead. We'll have a decent show to do, talk about. Uh, I, I know you're not aware of this, probably some of you, but they released the first part of a Walking Dead new minisodes, just like the stupid flight. I saw it already. Uh, <laughs> it's blah, but and I'm not that anybody cares. I'm sure you don't, but if you do, um, I'm sure you could find it on the internet there. They're going to release it with, um, you know, Walking Dead Season 7, in case you didn't see it on the internet. It's part one um, of, like, I don't know how many parts. It's ridiculous. So, I'll send it to you, Scott. Okay. I sent it to Gloria. So, I mean, it's not that, you know, it's whatever. No, I ain't good. It's... I'm not, I don't know, wasn't crazy about the flights. Once you've seen one, you know, more yeah, way. Just, uh, that's a wee. I don't even bother. I don't know. I don't know what it is with people. Um, like we're using the same stuff over and over again. I ain't. I don't want to have a reality or something. You just oversaturate the market, and that's that's yeah. a big problem. Like oh, you really shouldn't do that. that. Like, you know, all right, all right you're, you're force feeding us *Fear the Walking Dead*. We're starting to like it, but stop, stop trying to give us a, a thing that's going to lead into a third series. I think you go. There was a time when Star Trek put too many out. Yeah. And then it starts losing its uh, cohesion, whatever. It's, you know, I, I would stop. I don't know what you There's stuff like that. I know it's some. Um, it won't, but it's stuff like that that stops um, the production of it altogether, doesn't it? I mean, there's another production team that do that, but it just. It, I don't think people care. I mean, no. we're worried about Rick. I'm not worried about anything else. You don't. You could put a 20-minute thing in between commercials, with, and I wouldn't even give a crap. I just I want to see who dies. That Negan's hand is Rick all right? Is Carl all right? Is Sean? I, mean, I just want to see. That's it. I don't care about a mini series or whatever. That's just stupid. Nobody should really even do that. Because that's what they did with uh, Doctor Who. Is they did uh, mini sods. Well, that I liked because Doctor Who yeah. never got enough anyway. <laughs> Doctor Who's a um, yeah. Doctor Who knows how to do it in a way. Doctor Who, like they they don't. They, I don't. It's the only show that I know of that on a whim they can just go a year without Doctor Who or or one episode they give us. You guys there? Yeah. yeah. Or, Okay, or or they could do a split season. I mean, they do crazy stuff with that series, and people starve for Doctor Who. You know, right now. 
people lose their jobs because there's no Doctor Who. I mean, they try to they try to do web pages, but then Doctor Who ain't released the whole entire year. What the hell are you going to talk about? You know, you're going to chase John Sim around the supermarket when he's going to buy apples. I mean, this is ridiculous. That's what, I mean, they were doing that. I mean, that, that's just like ridiculous. Yeah. And then you turn people off from returning to show. So, all right, people, have a good night. Ciao. Take care, bye for now. Bye.